My name is Joseph DeGanti. I'm the owner of Artisans Painting and Remodeling in Chicago, Illinois. We specialize in interior and exterior painting for homes, residential, commercial. We're fully insured. We will carry workers' comp. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. If you'd like to see more of my how-to videos, visit us at www.artisanspainting.com. It's A-R-T-I-S-O-N-S, painting. So here I'm demonstrating how to paint intricate moldings with a sprayer. We use a Graco 312 fine finish tip with a 395 Nova PC. You gotta turn the pressure down. Um, you wanna start off and end off of the surface. I'm using a wand, which gives me more reach, but you have to start further off because it spits as it goes. So we wanna go from top down to bottom. The floors are getting replaced, so are the carpets, so we're not too concerned about that. They're getting re refinished. Um, so I'll demonstrate. You wanna start from the top down and go up and down on up angles and down angles, side to side, so you can get all of the intricate pieces of this molding. Otherwise, you're not going to do it. You want to do fast, light coats so it doesn't build up too much and start to run. So I'll demonstrate here. And overlap your coats by half. So when you have the spray, the fan spray, overlap it as you go by half so that you completely cover everything. I want to spray down here because all this is visible from the stairs. You want to get all your angles. I'll start up here. And if you want to get better control, you can hold this. Or you can hold your wand so it doesn't get kinked on anything. Uh, the hose, I'm sorry. I have a four foot whip hose, which gives me more use at the gun point. Uh, I want to get on these, these inside angles, so I'll come up here. On a slight angle up. You got all this. Um, it has all different nooks and crannies, so I want to come from all directions. But like I said, you want to do light, light, fast coats. The second coat, you can get everything, and if you do, if you're a beginner, you can do three coats, just wait for them to completely dry. We're using a semi-gloss, uh, self-priming enamel paint. So we can't mess up. It is a very nice finish. Now these I want to go up and down on because they have so many different angles on them. So I start off, end off. The ceiling's going to get painted later. We're going to tape and mask this off. I don't care if I get any on the ceilings and walls. And I'll come from both directions on it to get the size. Again, if I miss any little angles, I'll just come like that. And there you have it. If you want to pan to the areas I already did, uh, I sprayed those earlier. The windows I sprayed too, uh, I'll cover that in a different video on how to tape and mask with plastic and tape um, so that you can spray all the different angles. Or we did the staircase too, the spindles, the newel posts, the railings, banisters, all the intricate trim work. We did that yesterday, two coats. And that room over there, we also did the, the trim in there, one coat. We're going to come back and finish that later. Scaffolds help a lot, uh, but I found if you have a good gorilla ladder, you can move it. It's lighter and easier. 